We're going to the Hard Rock Hotel today, where I expect I'll receive a hero's welcome, given my musical exploits over the last few years. What? I think that the next time I see an actual roundabout, I might get a bit emotional. Like there'll be a single tear on my cheek. Seriously, America, join the revolution! Here we are, the Hard Rock Hotel. You know what I find weird about the Hard Rock brand? Is it was actually founded by two Americans, but in London. I'm not sure why. Unless they were just going for that kind of grimy rock and roll thing. London's definitely grimy. Christ, should have brought the ND filter. It's bright today. That's the Hard Rock Hotel. In case you can't tell. <laughs> that rhymed. I'm pretty flippin' excited about this one, because it includes cake. I love cake. So it's, it's from the time you drop at the table, it's 30 minutes to finish everything. Yeah. Uh, as soon as it hits the table, that's when the timer starts. That's when your 30 minutes begins. And I'm gonna take probably five minutes to get some sexy B-roll and some thumbnails and stuff. So I might have to eat this one pretty quick. Plus I think it's like 50, 60 bucks, something like that, if you don't win. I better start a timer on my phone because they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna start the timer just so I know. It's not the same bucket. Look at it. That's that's a whole one. But that one is far apart like a ton. Come on, big man. This that's like a normal portion of rice. Look at the size. Oh. It's a challenge. Go ahead, man. <laughs> what a bunch of con men. Look at the size of those chips. I don't really have time to introduce where I am. I'm at the Hard Rock Hotel uh, at the kitchen, taking on their kitchen sink challenge, which is this giant slice of cake, a burger, and some, it's supposed to be a regular sized portion of chips. And I got this giant bowl, but half an hour, see if I can do it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Uh, the, the, the commentary is gonna be it's gonna be a journey on this one. <laughs> Strap yourselves in. I'll try to be positive. I, I promise. Anyway, today I'm at a place called the Hard Rock Hotel, and I'm taking on the kitchen sink challenge, which is a bit of a bucket list food challenge for me. I've always wanted to do this one. It's been around like seven, eight years, maybe more, and it consists of a rather large slice of cake, a burger, a fried pickle, some strawberries, and a portion of fries. A portion, not a colander. <laughs> <laughs> if I win this, it's gonna be a miracle, man, because I don't even know how long I've been going. It's not the time. Of the <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I'm already making supplications to someone for help. I, I, I don't know who. <laughs> but I'm clearly a, a bit peeved. I'm putting a brave face on, though. Or some kind of face. We're, we're done with the burger now, and uh, we're just on to the. What? I don't know. Four pounds of fries, maybe? <laughs> oh, come on, man. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's one word for it. I can think of others. This is a this is a family show. <laughs> anyway, this thing costs 60 Benjamins. Is that the right slang? $60. Which, I mean, if you get this amount of food, that's, uh, that, that's pretty reasonable. I'm sorry, by the way, for eating like a scruff, but, um... It was pretty much, I think, the only chance I had at winning to, to, to eat like this. I'm sorry if this is disgusting to watch, but there's no other way that I can... I still think I don't think I'm going to win. Yeah, you got a little something in your beard there, Oh, you, you got it. It's all right. I think in retrospect, I should have just left the fries to the end and, and enjoyed the, the focal point of the meal, which is the large slab of cake. I'm not sure what was actually in the cake. It was kind of between a, a cheesecake, a fudge cake, a, a pecan pie. A little bit of, uh, of everything in there. But I'm doing a for you. <sighs> yeah, that's true. But I put like a, a 60s saxophone jam in the background to make everything a bit more convivial. <laughs> I don't actually know what this is. Oh. A deep fried pickle. Right, I'm, the only reason I wanted to do this was because of the cake, right? So. I'm starting on the cake. I don't actually know how to... Eat it! I think that's what I was going to say. We're going with the knife right now, trying to break it down a little. 
but uh, memory serves me right. I think I'm just gonna start pawing at it like a, a wild bear. There we go. Let's uh, let's not stand on ceremony. Let's just get it down. And uh, yeah, I, you know what? I've, I've seen a lot of pictures of this challenge. Plenty of people have done it over the years. In fact, let me present a few to you. Exhibit A, Exhibit B, C, none of which you'll notice have four pounds of fries served in a literal colander or indeed the eight scoops of ice cream, but what can you do here? Eh? At least I'm on the cake now. I, I, I can't complain about the cake. The cake was um, a bit stiffer than I anticipated, but uh, you know, it, it tasted good. Almost impenetrable, but, but good. I think I've got about 10 minutes left, maybe, if that, <laughs> what a flipping con. <laughs> I'm using the C word, not that C word. Uh, but yeah, I think that's because my uh, my thin veneer of geniality has, has just about eroded at this point. <laughs> and uh, all that's left really is bitterness. Bitterness and, and cake. And uh, a few onion rings and uh, some ice cream too, as you probably noticed. This is gold. You know, it was it was almost worth the betrayal just to watch this back a few days later and laugh at myself. This is about as, as grumpy as you'll ever see me, but you know, with, with good reason. You know, it's not it's not uncommon that I turn up on a challenge as if by magic it turns out to be bigger than it's supposed to be. But I'm no diva. I usually just you know suck it up, get on with it. If I lose, I lose. But this one was was a proper fit up, a swindle of the most egregious order. <laughs> Onion rings were good though. I say that through a uh, through a gritted teeth, but uh, yeah, one thing I would do is like, stick around to the end, or you can just skip ahead if you want. Um, but my interaction with the waiter at the end is quite funny. <sighs> I mean, that alone weighs like two pounds, easily. <sighs> I'm done. I'm just waiting for the guy to come over now. I think I'm, I'm pretty much sure I'm done, man. Yeah, I was really looking forward to this one as well. Might as well try the onion rings. It's rare that if I lose, I do it sorely. But this is this is this is really a total con. I say this begrudgingly, but the onion rings are pretty good. <laughs> maybe I got a minute left. Maybe. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, so long, Florida. It was almost a, a clean sweep. Maybe I'll come back one day. Who knows? Probably not though. Catch you next time. <laughs> I'm looking at some of the pictures here, like I'm not having this. I see a stoppage. <laughs> yeah, because you conned me, man. You, you, you give me like four times as many chips. Look at this. Don't feel bad, don't look, feel bad. Look at, what is that? What? That, that? That's what it's supposed to look like. They this change, is what, they keep oh, you, can, yeah, you changed it, right? Yeah. Okay, How yeah, long yeah. Is that one? It's because I'm British. <laughs> Just admit it, man. <laughs>